sometimes this may come as a surprise to our young carrot was talking about the human brain but not the mind there is a difference between brain and mind brain is here in the skull which can be seen people will taste it eat it also in bakrai they love to eat mutton brain masala and the other is a certain people in your life who keep on eating your brain the brain is something tangible so dekha ja sakta hai chua ja sakta hai but mind we don't know where it is so thoughts are to guide of course we know that one is the unconscious thought and one is the conscious thought so within the conscious and unconscious thought, thought thoughts sprung or come out from two different places one is the human brain most of the thoughts that come to your mind is from your memories of the past most of them and few from the future why do i need to explore the unexplored territory why would i need to do that let me walk on the same trail and same path that my others have walked why do i need to find a new way most people would be very comfortable why because they are afraid of taking a new challenge it's again a thought depends it's a thought right but if you want to be something different and special you have to be like a lion in the jungle for that another kind of a thought is required because when you are free from the past which is the status quo and the comfort zone that you are in you are in a comfort zone right your home is your comfort zone your parents are your comfort zone your close friends are your comfort zone the moment you come out of from the comfort zone your nature of thought will change you will be creative you will be innovative you will think about things that you have not thought of before why because you are in alien planet we are in anjani jagah pe maujood hai so you will think something differently so always be a lion in the jungle although it's a difficult task the second kind of thought one is the biological thought which is created because our brain has got memory of the past and it has anticipation and desire of the future <laughs> this thought is a dead thought the other thought comes from what is the quran calls as the kalb kalb is not the chest only there is something within the chest which is the quran calls as the kalb and uh, the greek in the greek mythology they call it the human mind you open a person you can't see the kalb nor the mind you see the heart that's it so it is a place where intuitive intelligence resides we have two kind of intelligence one is biological intelligence and one is intuitive intelligence biological intelligence is the way we have been brought up our family our values our beliefs the different experiences in life the first school the first master friends environment society reality you see your beliefs create reality reality means something that is real to you right it's a reality so our reality is oneness of allah a hindu has different reality christian has a different reality jew has a different reality fine where is this reality made up of what makes a reality thought thought makes reality whatever realities that you create in the beliefs that are responsible for creating those realities are made up of what you think and how you think and when you think how long you think if your girlfriend leaves you oh my god that's the most dangerous part break up when you are thinking and thinking and to you the whole world to you doesn't exist now everything is gone you are in a terrible depression until somebody helps you to come out of it it's not the end of the world but to you that reality is what it is to me it may be nothing matter okay 
you love somebody, fine. For example, I'll give you an example. Somebody that you know. His family member, because of you know, Corona and stuff like that, died. So you feel sorry, but you're not sad. There's a difference between feeling sorry and feeling sad. So you go to them, condolence, and say, I'm so sorry to hear that this person died and I wish then uh, Allah gave them the best place in Jannah and gives you the patient to bear the loss. But you are not sad. You feel sorry. There's a difference between that. Right? When you are sad, it's a different thought. When you feel sorry, it's a different thought. You definitely feel sorry for them, but you're not sad. So this intuitive thought that comes from the cult or from the mind does not have a connection with the past or the future. It's a new thought. It is completely different. Tell you what. How many of you have ever experienced it? This is a very common phenomenon. Some people have more often. Let me think of somebody today. He may call you up and that person calls you. And you say to yourself, my God, think of the devil and the devil what? Shaitan ko yaad karo, shaitan aage. Many times it has happened with many people. You think of somebody, maybe he'll come today and he comes today. Vajah. Where does this thought come from? He never called you, he never told you that he will come. So there is no path, there is no future. It's an intuitive thought. Because somehow that person thought about visiting you. And we all are connected. When we have these thoughts which are intuitive, act upon them. Write them down. New idea. Write them down. Maintain a diary. See where your thoughts come from, how do they lead you, what is the direction, what are they guiding you, what innovation is there, always right. So we, for the time being, we don't talk more about the intuitive thought, the thought that comes from the mind, which does not have a connection with the past nor the future. Let's talk about the thoughts that we tend to think most of the time. It means that the society that we live in and the Situations and events that occur in the society are responsible for making us think in a particular way. So our thoughts of the past and the future is created because of sight, sound, smell, taste and touch. Five senses. These five senses because they are connected to the external world. All the five senses are involved. So the thoughts are connected with what we see, what we hear, what we feel, what we taste, what we smell. Let's talk about thoughts that we don't wish to think. Right? Many times the thoughts completely Occupy our mind. Don't get it if we can't. It just keeps on coming, handling us all the time. Especially anxiety during your exams or just before your exams. Or performance anxiety, which is very common. I don't know, cadets also have it. Performance anxiety. MBAs have it. Doctors have it. What kind of a thought? How do you, how do you control those thoughts? Remember. The best way to get rid of that thought is not to think continuously, but to think of the result of the thought. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Many years back, I'm the eldest in my family. Uh, all my brothers are, they live abroad. I'm the only one who lives in Pakistan because I love Pakistan. 82, I was in America, I was living there and one fine day I just Packed everything in, not realizing that Allah wanted me to do a certain task which I realized that I am doing it here. My father of a business was with the ministry. One fine day, all of a sudden, I am strange thought. What if my father dies? What if my father dies? Now, being the eldest, all my brothers and one sister. They were much younger to me. I was one who was uh, confident, outspoken, would meet people, meet officers. 
And the thought came what if my father died? My God, I just couldn't take that thought out of my mind. As it kept on becoming stronger and stronger, my entire nervous system became weaker and weaker. My appetite was gone, I could not sleep, I didn't know what to do. Instantly, uh, I remembered one of my gurus, teacher, because of guru teacher. I went to him and I said, this is what is happening. He said, okay, sit down, close your eyes. And whatever I ask you, you keep on telling me. He said, okay. He said, okay, now, imagine the scenario that your dad has expired. Now what? What do you see in your mind? I see people are coming at home, my mother is crying, my brother and sister is crying. And then what? And then what? And then what? And then I buried him and I offered Fatiha for him and I felt lonely and I felt scared because being the eldest I have all the responsibility on my shoulders. He kept on taking me till for about a month or two months after this thing. And the emotions became weaker, 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 until the thought was gone. Which means the thought that was creating those emotions of helplessness, loneliness, fear was gone. Why? Because I recognized that emotion. The more you fight, the more that becomes stronger and stronger. So any kind of such a thought, that makes you nervous, that makes you weak. It could be anxious about your exam, about your performance, about your future. I know in Pakistan, we are so uh, lucky people that we don't care about the future. The patient never worries. Right? We don't worry about it. We have dressed everything on Allah. He tells us, do your job, I do mine. No, no, you do my job first. And this is what has happened. Apna Allah let me not do my work. Anyway. <laughs> Few things that I want you to understand. If you want your thought to be pure, to be resourceful, be positive, number one, keep company of good people. People who inspire you, people who motivate you, they give you the confidence, like role models if you can. Have role models in your life. We are role models from every walk of life. We have role models from uh, military. We have role models from scientists, from professors, doctors, artists, musicians. Now the only role model we have is TikTok. That's it. So where is the future when you don't have a role model? Whom do you follow? Go on. So keep company with people who inspire and motivate you. Read good books, motivating books, read good books. Watch, you can watch movies definitely, I don't mind, I also watch movies. But watch documentaries. You know why? It adds to your knowledge. The nature of your thoughts keep on changing. Think of how those stars are made. Because they have an engineering mind, even today they can build up something. But they can't. So watch things that inspire you, you learn. See, life is a learning process. You do your MBA, you do your MBBS, you do your PhD, life, learning doesn't end. From career to grade, process of learning never stops and it should never stop. If you want your thought to be resource positive, keep on reading, keep on seeing, keep on learning new things. And that's how they will help you. Lastly, of course you definitely do exercises here, but there is something interesting about exercise. When you exercise any walking, jogging, gym, anything, for 35 to 40 minutes your brain produces a hormone called endorphin. It is also called a pleasure hormone. It's an amazing hormone. So make sure in your daily activity, any exercise that you want, walking, jogging, treadmill, you, but certain postures you can do that helps a lot. Thirdly, just let you clean your office, your home, 
your room, wash your clothes, keep yourself clean. Make sure you keep your mind clean also. By putting the seeds of positivity, of resourcefulness, of hope, of inspiration, whatever you can, so that the plant that comes out is positive for you in your future. Thank you very much.